Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. Should the devs patch lane steals in NBA 2K25? Let me know your answer. Should the devs nerf lane steals into the ground until they don't work anymore? Let me know your answer. Should NBA 2K25 devs make passing accuracy much more obtainable since lane steals are OP in NBA 2K25? Or should the community just learn how to actually pass in good situations? Hmm. We're here to talk about all of that today. I know that I'm probably sounding like I'm about to troll y'all and just know just just just, just a little bit. But I want to uh, thank you guys for popping into this video. First and foremost, um, definitely hit that like button. It's free. Um, also, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about all of the directions of lane stills, not how to get them, how to do it. It's it's really easy. You just run to a person that's receiving a pass, press square, and at some point in time, you will teleport to that ball. Um, ball tangibility is amazing. But I wanted to talk to you guys about why NBA 2K needs actual defensive pro play inside of the video game. Lane steals is a result of pro play going wrong. Now, what I mean by that is there are NBA players who have done some of the amazing things that we see in NBA 2K25 on the daily basis. We've seen some of them do that in their career. Maybe it was an out of body experience. Maybe they just were feeling athletic that day. Maybe they did it without stretching, but there are some steals, which are lane steals, that are in the video game because they have happened in real life. Now, you might be asking yourself, Apa, what do you mean by lane steals? I mean that. Um, lane steals in NBA 2K25 are so obtainable that if you have an 85 steal or higher, you get out of body animations in order to catch the ball whenever you deem fit. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But what I've been noticing throughout the game is that I've been going inside of the wreck inside the theater, inside of a 3v3 pro-am, uh, inside of the park, uh, just asking people, hey, can I join your pro-am? Hey, can I play with you on the park? Hey, can we go into Proving Grounds? And I've been listening to what the community has actually been saying about lane steals, opposed to when it happens to them and when they are supposed to get one or they request one by the 2K guys when they press that button. One thing that I can say is, yes, they're super, super easy. And why is that? We're not sure. We don't know what 2K did. We don't know what, you know, physical, what uh, type of engine, what type of motion, what type of pro play animations are in the game or what makes you just, for whatever reason, just just out of body, get to that ball whenever you press the button. I, 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 I honestly, I've tested it out and I just can't understand why it's in the game. But until they patch it or nerf it or tone it down or take certain animations away that require maybe a higher steal rating, this is what's going to keep happening. But I do have some IRL indications that this stuff is in the game for a reason. So let's check those out. So I was super bored on X one day and I was just scrolling and I had seen a clip that somebody posted of just lane still after lane still after lane still. And I just was like, yo, this would be a dope engagement type of tweet to put out and just to tell people to stop complaining to see what others would say. Now, granted, I'm a lock. I am all for being able to play defense. I just want to get that out the way. I love being able to play defense. But what I noticed was when I put this tweet out, people still couldn't believe that this was actually in our video game. Not just people jumping to the ball, but some even speed boost that you'll see in some of these clips where a person will literally go around a screen, under a screen, jump a screen and take that ball. A lot of people couldn't believe it. A lot of people was like, oh, so this is why the game is like this. But there were other people out there that were like, yo, no, this is inexcusable. 2K shouldn't have this in their game. This is a video game. This is not real life. And then I'm like, okay. And then it was like, hey, he doesn't do that all game long. He doesn't average six steals in a game. So what you want us to do? First, people want to shoot 75% from three, but they don't want people to get lane steals. I'm kind of lost there. You want to be able to shoot 70 plus percent from the three, but you don't want people to get more than 
let's say two or three lane steals per game. And even when they get those two or three, you're still going to complain about lanes being OP. Am I correct? You think people should just get one steal a game? While bigs are out here averaging 23 boards because everybody in their mom is missing? <laughs> you think people don't deserve to get blocks when there's people out here averaging four or five blocks? You don't think people deserve blocks? I'm just saying, I'm playing devil's advocate right now. I want to know how you feel in the comment section. Now, granted, there's always a grain of salt with everything, right? So everyone knows as soon as NBA 2K25 dropped that the lanes were just unreal. And a lot of people were min-maxing bills to figure out where the insane lane steal animation started. Some people said that it started with the interceptor on bronze. Some people say it started with the 85 stat attribute some people are saying that you have to have a 91 or higher still to get even better lunges at a higher speed no matter what your agility is no matter what your speed is the higher you go with your still the more animations are equipped to you in which we don't know a lot of people don't know what animations there are in the game until they happen and that's the good thing about being a 2k community right when something happens in the game and somebody posts it on twitter tiktok instagram youtube twitch whatever you will end up seeing it and you will say oh my god i need that animation hat for me i want to get a steal like that nobody will ever say i want somebody to steal the ball from me like that they'll say no i want to get that animation because i want to have an out-of-body experience right now, of course, I want to show you guys some some average from uh the player that was inside of the clip. We're going to go ahead and look at those. And I want to see how you feel about the statistics versus real life in the game. Now, looking at Matisse stats, obviously, out of how many ever games he played since he's been in the league, he averages almost two steals per game, which actually isn't that bad because if you think about it let's say for instance one game he just has an out of body moment where he gets up to five steals but for the next five games whether they're on a the road or they're away he only gets one steal that average like the result of that comes down now granted people will say well in 2k these people are getting six to eight steals per game every game i get it but what I'm telling you is when we look at averages and we say to ourselves, OK, we need to look at this person's highlight reel. We need to know what he's doing, how he's doing it. And we need to get better at understanding it from a basketball standpoint. If I just showed you an entire basketball clip of this guy jumping lanes, being being long, long wingspan, being able to jump like jump passes, not just lanes, but jump and catch passes, being able to be not only tall and long pause for wingspan because i know how y'all be in the chat but being able to have the speed to get from one side of the court jump a lane and steal a lane steal that's a, that's essentially what 2k speeds boosts look like even though they look good irl they don't look really good in the game because it's all sliding Every time you see a steal inside of NBA 2K25, it seems like this person is jumping completely out of body, higher than they could because they're not athletic, which most likely everybody has a 75 vertical minimum, right? For mostly every build because every build likes to slash. Um, every build has no less than 82 agility, no less than 82 speed, no less than a, a 85 perimeter, no less than an 85 still. So when you think about it, every person that's out there running on the court wants to be a superstar. So they put all of their things into the athletic side of things and they're still. So of course they'll play out of body. It's just how it is. Every single person that puts up still and athleticism have out of body experiences. That's just that's just facts. Now, within that tweet, I found the holy grail. This is a play by John Morant that literally probably nobody else in the league could do. But this is one of the animations that everybody in NBA 2K25 gets. A no look, turnaround, leaping, being able to just take the ball out of midair still every single time they press a button now for instance the reason why people say oh they shouldn't be able to look not be looking and steal the ball first of all we're playing a video game they're looking at the entire court this is not a real person on a real court going off an of instinct 
This is the player with the controller in his hand saying, I see the whole floor. I see the point guard about to make a Stevie. I'm going to press the button. That's what we're that's what we're comparing here. We're comparing IRL instincts, being able to read a player's face and all oh, about to catch the ball to Ja Moran jumping out the fucking gym to catch a pass. But again, it's pro play. It's in the game. These are 9,000 plus animations added into the game. And this just happens to be one of them that happened to be used a lot. Now, let's talk about that John Morant clip for a moment. Not looking, being able to just take the ball out of midair. That's what we're dealing with in NBA 2K25. A player being able to see the camera flip, see that a person ran down court, which obviously we've been playing 2K for a long time. It's only three to two. Why would the point guard run all the way down court from his, his center or his power forward passing the ball in? We'll never know. This play is not because the defender is just playing out of body. It's because somebody decided I'm going to run down court and he decided to press a button. And obviously he's a guard. He's probably 6'3", 6'4", maybe 6'5", skinny, lanky, probably a, a pretty good wingspan on him. He jumped out of body. He played out of body. That's just what we got to deal with. But... I want to know how you feel about this. Do you feel like this type of lane still should be in the game? Because obviously he didn't really jump from left to right too far. It was more so north, south, and he just went up for it like a wide receiver would to catch a pass. He didn't teleport or or whatever the case may be to the ball. How do you feel about this lane still inside the comment section? Now, before I talk about how I feel about the lane stills in NBA 2K25, I really want to know what do you think 2k should do to approach this do you feel like they should one patch lane stills to the point where some of the out of body animations are only granted to those that have a 96 steel or higher or do you think that they should nerf lanes not into the ground but to the point where if somebody's spamming it just to get it then their adrenaline runs out and they can't get a steal without adrenaline or the success of the catch is lessened by not having adrenaline. Now, another thing, do you think that 2K should promote better pass accuracy or try to have it whereas though pass accuracy doesn't cost as much as it does today like it did back in the day where people will have better pass accuracy to negate some of that because if we're being honest, if you're not a premier point guard that's a passing guard or a passing big, most of the time, the shooting guard, small forward, power forward, your passes are getting tipped. Your passes are getting stolen. Your passes are getting out of body experience too. It, it just is what it is. That's what we are dealing with right now. But I want to show you guys some other clips. So this is another clip that I came across. This is the teleportation thing that I told you guys about. Basically, the... I don't want to call it a hitbox because we don't truly know what it is, but for whatever reason, even when a defender is not next to you or near you, for some my reason, it feels like that player is directly next to you, no matter how far away they are. Now, obviously the person pressed this button, he turned, pressed R2, and immediately press square once he realized the pass was coming. But what his player did was it, it basically slid and teleported to the ball trajectory of that pass. It literally is a lane steal. And that pass, if you look at it, it felt like it was a little on the slower side. It didn't really zip to it. And it had a little bit of air under it. Like it wasn't like a straight chest pass. It had a little air on it. So obviously the person that was guarding him, uh, made his pass a little bit bad or he might have not had enough stamina, whatever the case may be, but that lane still should have never happened. That's the way that I feel about that. That lane still shouldn't have happened because obviously you can tell visually, we don't even have to slow it down. You can see that that's a problem. This will be the last clip that I'll show you guys. This is Bear the Beast playing with Tough NYC at the park. I'm not sure who their other teammate is, but just showing you how to actually guess the lane and guess where the ball is going, that does play a huge part in lane steals. But what I've noticed is even with my build, sometimes even aiming in the wrong direction, I'll still teleport to certain passes. If let's say for instance, two people are running down court, 
One is going down the middle and one is going to the corner. If I'm in between both of them and I see like the way that the person is about to pass the ball, like nine times out of the 10, I'm getting that lane still. And I'm talking some mad smack when I do it too. Like, give me that dummy. Oh, cookies. I don't know why you did that. That's stupid. That move was not right. You should have went to the other guy. Like, I'm saying all kinds of things out of body. So, what I will say is, lane steals. They're a lot. But let's talk about how I really, really feel about it. So, I know that this is the part of the video that a lot of people probably skip to. Because you want to know where I stand on the fence. You want to know if I'm in the middle. You want to know if I'm on the side of nerfing. You want to know if I'm on the side of keeping them in the game. I know where you think I stand. And, and, and I actually want to say, type this in the comment section. Before I say what I say, I want you to say iPod stands and then tell me how, tell me what you think. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all uh, comment for a moment. But how I truly feel. I feel like lane stills are a part of the game and that they should stay a part of the game. Now, as far as some of the out of body animations and what I mean by that is, if somebody's at half court and there's somebody, I'm talking about the middle of half court, the logo, and someone is at the hash on the right side or the left side. If somebody's passing the ball from the paint of that opposing court to the hash while somebody's running down the middle of the court, I feel like that person that's standing at half court or even jogging at half court at that logo should not be able to get to that lane. That's how I feel because I know that there is going to be a teleportation type of animation. That's what I know. I know that 100% that there's going to be a teleportation animation and that's what needs to be taken out the game. Mainly because when we see these out of body experiences, they continuously happen. I've seen people steal the ball try to wait to make sure they don't get the ball stolen from them after a steal because not everyone has good ball handle and pass that ball and they get taken the exact same way because everyone who was a part of that know that the ball is going down that court some way because they want a fast break and everybody gets a man, everybody gets their finger ready for square and they turn it over immediately. And I've seen some times where a person will grab that ball and think that, oh, I got a man down court because they didn't even get set up yet and throw that ball again. And the same person that stole it the first time gets it back. Three steals in under seven seconds. I've seen it. I've heard the crowd and the wreck go, ooh, ah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. But what I can say is, the out of body Ja Morant one, if as long as that person is directly in front of that ball where they can jump that lane and not teleport from, you know, all the way over there to right in front of me for that ball, I'm completely fine with it. Um, but I'm I'm just not fine with the speedy animation teleportation ones where you speed animation animation and catch it. And I'm and I'm not okay with the one where you're running one way not looking and then you jump like if i'm if i'm looking this way i should not be able to jump and turn and go all the way across the court, <laughs> the court to get that fast <laughs> oh man i'm i know i'm laughing i know i know i know i'm sorry it's very funny um i have not been playing this game competitively and for money so Yes, yes, I did be Asian though. I mean, it was only a thousand, but it's not my fault. Um, but what I can say is, as far as having fun with the game, I always equate having fun on 2K with my friends. And as long as my friends are around for me to play, I'm having fun with the game. Now, as far as lanes go, when I pass the ball, I'm always taking a little, a little bit of time. If you watch my streams on Twitch, and people always be like, yo, pod, I'm open. No, you're not. Yo, pod, I'm cutting. No, you're not. Yo, pod, hit me. No. Sometimes you have to realize since lane stills are so OP, so cracked as they call them, 
then don't make the obvious pass. The way to negate lane steals right now is to not make the obvious pass, which means if you are a person that is a non dribbler and you decide, oh, I'm going to put the ball on the floor and you get bumped. Don't try to pass it to the, the closest person to you. Don't try to pass it to a cutter. Pass it to somebody that is literally standing still, maybe across the court or throw up a fake pass, throw up a pump fake to get out of that animation or call a goddamn timeout if you're really, really that in trouble. Don't give in to the Stevies. Don't give in to the, oh my God, they're going to rip me. Don't give in to that because why take a bet on a possible turnover and give up an actual one? That's what I can say to that. If you know for a fact that every single time you get bumped by a defender, you think that you're going to pass it to the closest teammate or whatever, or whomever you may be even able to see on screen at that moment. If you think you're going to be able to get that pass off, I'm telling you right now, turnover. So throw a fake pass, th throw up a little pump fake or something like that. Call a timeout or throw it to somebody who is standing still neutral that is not close to you or cutting because everybody's on it. Everybody's been playing 2K for years now. And we know what a backdoor cut looks like. We know what a bailout pass looks like. We know all of that. So if you think you're going to get one of those off, you're going to be complaining. You're going to be on Twitter like everybody else complaining about how lane stills need to be patched. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. But again, I am on the side of wanting lane stills in the game. I am also on the side of taking out crazy, insane animations, unless you got that legend. You know what I'm saying? You get that legend, John, then it's all yours. You know what I'm saying? If you can get legend, I think you deserve it. I think you deserve to just be not teleporting, but like, yeah, out of body, out of body. If 2K um, somehow um, patches like foot planting or whatever the case may be, because one huge thing that 2K talked about was a foot planting. But foot planting is really not that much in the game. Everybody can't stop still. Um, quick stopping is really, really hard. So not even being able not to stop, people end up throwing like irate passes and get turnovers because they think that their player was supposed to stop, but their player didn't stop. And now they're thinking they're about to run out of bounds or they're about to run into a player and get a bump still. So many different reasons on why lane stills are OP. But it starts with, not passing that goddamn ball. <laughs> hey, listen, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I have I have nothing else for you. Um, I want to thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you like the video. It's free, man. Um, I appreciate all the love that y'all show me. Uh, hit that subscribe button, man. One day I do want to hit a million subscribers. I, I really do. I really do. Um, I don't say it much, mainly because, you know, I just, I just go with the flow of things. But it's one of my goals. And um, I hope that you guys can help me with that. So, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Aba. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Aba. King Kong.